Hello guys, my name is Simanshu and today we are going to learn a quick V-Ray studio lighting setup. <coughs> we are going to do kind of thing like this. Okay, bye. So I'm from India and as you already know, English is not our national language. So please excuse me. Ah, my English is not good. Okay, so open up 3ds Max. And uh, uh, let me show you my PC configuration. I'm using uh, Intel i5 threading over 70 with 8 gig of RAM. <coughs> Maya 2012 and onboard graphics HD 2500. <coughs> so, what is first of all, uh, let's learn what is studio setup. Studio setup is basically like this to basically to lit your particular object. Wow, I like this one. To enhance your product. Okay, uh, this is what I can say. To enhance a product to give them a like three point lighting with very nice detail, this kind of thing. Uh, this is basically you can use it for your product rendering, portrait rendering. Yes. And about Vire, Vire is a very, I can say, easy and time saver software. So, first of all, let's take a teapot. Give him a nice subdivision like 10. This is okay. Let's create a backdrop. We don't need to fill it this one because they're not even visible. Just first of all, let's create a camera. <coughs> I'm using a physical camera. A click on this button. This is walk through, and using your up and down arrow to uh, adjust your camera. Press Shift and up and down to uh, basically up and down your camera just your what you want to show press shift F to say safe frame I recommend people to use uh, hotkeys that save time a lot and also from there you can click shapes bro this is shape why is not selecting oh sorry I forgot applied extrude modifier <coughs> Okay, now our camera is set. If we take render, we got this. Pretty bad. Okay. On the right view, let's put some light. Very light. Uh, 
very light very plain light from this uh, selection filter click light take this one make a copy and instead of uh, rotating and this kind of stuff you can use mirror just give a mangle and you are done it's a time saver we want a more light light with like um, 20 modifier and uh, 6500 light with uh, 10 modifiers make it closer I can make it to default white reduces temperature 10 let's take a render this is very bad okay so i'm going to upload this one to this and this one to this mm, blue why blue because rio is also blue sorry that was a joke mm, make something like um, 0.85 okay Furnace reduction on bingo. Okay. On background black nah. Like point forty five is okay. Let's take an ender again. This is still very bad. Why? Because we haven't adjusted our camera yet. <coughs> but I can say we the physical camera is just like real world camera. I like uh, f stop 4.5 just give me the little bit okay and white balance neutral I don't want vintaging effect you can hit this in post production and now let's take a render it's much better now okay so what more we can do Uh, first of all, let's eliminate the noise. I'm using Gamma Two Point Two. From first, we don't need anything. My custom test render is six forty by four eighty. Uh, from there, just go to frame buffer, enable frame buffer. It's a uh, my as. Uh, on the render viewer from global setting turn off the wall lights everything else seems okay from image sampling and analyzing take it adva adaptive DMC that will give you a nice result for this okay uh, take it exponential y exponential exponential prevent your render from burning gamma 2.2 sub so pixel mapping on indirect lighting yes we want it irradiance map with light catch irradiance map make it like medium also, and also turn on the show calculation phase and in light catch uh, turn down the sample like uh, 300 mm, 4 show calculation phase ok Everything else seems okay. I'm using 32 bit version, so I'm only able to use 3 bit. And reduce the render bucket size like 16. Make a checker. 
I like it, check it, there is no specific reason. Okay. <coughs> so let's hit the render again. Okay, so right now render look pretty much good, but I don't like this shadows. Why? Because first of all, our light is close and also bright. Okay, so now what we are going to do is just reduce its intensity like 15, and uh, this one's also like. Uh, six and uh, this one also mm, eight let's say let's take a render again I like it and our render look pretty much great. Uh, let's add uh, this kind of reflection on floor. Not a big deal, just grab this one, put the reflection, turn on for inversion at 0.75. Okay. Let's make some copies for some name. Give them different colors green. Uh, what is wrong with this? Okay, just take an end here. Yeah. This kind of problem happening I think because I don't have any discrete graphic cards. Uh, I think I need one.
okay so render time is 1 minute and 29 seconds and this look pretty much good to represent your models or products or whatever things and i must say that okay, V-Ray is a very time saving and you can say it's an awesome thing here yeah. for me i can't uh, give this much kind of quality through mental ray in one and half minutes so thank you guys please watch it and share it subscribe it like it do whatever you want and uh, uh, one thing which I want to say please do not download this video if you download this video or uh, I, the main thing which I want to say do not copy my settings just watch it learn it and keep experimenting okay thank you